r slash phoenix sc. It's the best place on the internet. Minecraft players after seeing a pixel of blue in a ravine. Hmm, why is this back? This should not have come back. Plank. Hey, that kind of looks like Fibonacci. If you don't know, soul lanterns are one pixel lower than normal lanterns. Is that true? Oh no. Wait until you find out that all signs are one pixel floating off of the wall. You're kidding me. But why? KFC. My first mod, a squirrel. That's cool, but like... What is that? Double decomposition. How I make cursed items in the lab. Aw, axolotl in the bowl. Ethos Lab. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It still works. And that's the problem. Please make the Aaron X. How the barrels connect when you face the bottom of them to each other. I feel like this is okay because they're just not rotated right. One of them's facing the other way. Someone please, someone please tell me why my dog is looking straight up. Oh, that's weird. I was just playing survival and I noticed my armor bar was glitched. Wait, does that mean you have 11 and a half? And finally. This is 4D Miner, a four-dimensional survival sandbox game. After the world generates, you'll notice a very familiar, blocky-looking landscape. But there's more to this world than meets the eye. As I scroll with the mouse wheel, the landscape appears to transform. Blocks seem to contort into all kinds of different shapes, while some seem to appear out of thin air, and others slowly disappear. Even the sun appears to grow and shrink. This kind of behavior is not unusual when three-dimensional beings like you and me try to interact with a four-dimensional world. 